Um, as I mentioned in my last video, as I say, we are in the middle of exam season and I'm shooting a couple of videos over the sort of coming week. So you will get all of this in the background here where um, Fionn is very busy revising for her GCSE exams and um, is very much a visual learner. So has the, if you saw this bedroom right now, there are posters everywhere to remind her of little bits and bobs. So this is her bedroom that she kindly lets me film in if, when I need to. So um, this is where it'll all stay. So what I've got today, I've been, um, I haven't looked at anything from this company for a little while. They're wonderful to work with and um, I've been out and visited them as I've sort of told you all about before. But I'm talking about Caveco. I'd say wonderful new products that they've sent over. I have reviewed this pen before so I'm not going to go into its finest detail because of the fact that you'll be able to see the other video on that and I will give you the link of, uh, to that pen in the description box now be sort of below this video so you can see the details of that. What this is about is actually showing you two new colours that they've brought out and particularly the, you know, the difference with the nibs. Again the video that I originally did when I was reviewing this pen I'd already put my own black nib on it and um, loved the way that that looked and these now come with a black nib which is fantastic but uh, what I am going to show you this time is the difference between I've got one I've got two here actually I should probably tell you what I'm talking about people do leave comments that I ramble a little too much but that's me um, I'm talking about the Caveco AC Sport I've reviewed the red one before now, the red and black one, but what I have with me today are the two new colours that have come out, the orange and the green. I think they're both fantastic colours, but what I've got in one of them is a medium nib and the other one I've got an extra fine nib. And you all know me, I prefer my extra fine nibs and that's always my preference. But I've been very pleasantly surprised with the medium nib that's in here. And I've been actually writing in, I've been journaling with it, which I never journal with a medium nib, but I have been. And yeah, I, I sort of quite liked that last night. So I'm going to show you the colours just so you get a sort of chance to see what these colours and how they look with the black nibs. A few sort of changes, sort of, you know, price point here in the UK, whether that's a result of the whole Brexit thing that's going on, the sort of how much the sort of pound has changed really over here over the last the value of the pound has changed recently has made these pens a little dearer than they were when I first sort of looked at this AC Sport but I also think that it's these two colours as well because of the sort of nib option that comes with these so I'll show you those in detail so join me just in two secs So we're looking again at the Caveco AC Sport, but these are the two new colours and actually worth looking at as well is the new tin that they've brought out. Um, I know they've brought out a Caveco AL in what they call in the Stealth Edition in a complete black which would be marvellous with this pen, so with this tin, but I really quite like this tin. I've always liked the fact that they come in tins rather than boxes, but um, it really goes with the brand I think. So this is their new tin for the Sport Edition pens. Black, you've got the Caveco logo embossed into here three times and then the underside of it then has the details, the company details printed on the underneath of that. So let's have a look. Obviously I've put two in here, you would only have the one, but you can keep two pens in here. I'll show you sort of quite how... So there's a slot that goes horizontally that you would have just one pen in there or you can put them side by side to have two pens in here and don't those colours look amazing so we have the green and the orange here so it's racing green and the orange absolutely beautiful colours I'm going to take them out for you now and get rid of this box so we can have a look at them in closer detail obviously they're identical in as far as the pens and the design it's just the colour difference between them but I do have two different colour nibs in there that I'll give you a look at. So if I just show you the colour of this, so this racing green, I'll put it that way so you can see the writing the right way up. So we have, so this body here now is carbon fibre. So the aluminium mixed with the carbon fibre, which is where we get the AC sport from. Aluminium carbon fibre. And like the sport range, so at the end we've got the Caveco logo at the end here 
and then the green matching right the way through and then the carbon fibre going through the cap here. So these are designed to be posted. So you take this off, post it at the end, which gives you a good size pen, a regular size fountain pen to be using. Weights and measurements. So measurements with the cap on, as you saw, so like this, it's 107 millimetres. Without the cap at all, just from tip to its end, it's 101 millimetres. And then posted, as you saw it just then, is 134 millimetres in length. Weight-wise, 21 grams with the cap on, only 13 without it. So the majority of the weight is in the cap because of the amount of aluminium that's in the cap. When you take the cap off, the most, most of the body of this is carbon fibre, so it really is a very lightweight pen. But even with the cap on, it's, not, it's still a lightweight pen at 21 grams in weight. So that's the green. And then this is the orange. So this is down to personal preference. I love them both. Um, I can't afford to keep them both. Um, I am hoping to be able to keep one of them. And at the moment, I'm leaning more towards the green than the orange. I do love them both, but it's just the fact that I do have other orange pens in my collection. So, um, and the green just pops, really pops for me. But otherwise, exactly the same pen, other than I have two different size nibs on these. So these are, you can do this two ways. I have cartridges in these, I have Caveco cartridges. I bought Caveco, I've had Caveco cartridges anyway, so I've used two different color Caveco cartridges to demonstrate these pens. Um, or you can now buy, you can buy squeeze converters, um, cartridge converters for them, or you can now get a sort of um, a filling one, a plunger sort of one, which actually is great now and really makes a difference because you can really pull, fill that with ink. Yes, they're not going to write for a huge amount of time because you can only get a short cartridge in there, but wonderful. So let me show you some writing samples with these then so you can see how these write. Let me just quickly show you the nibs on these. So we have... This is the medium nib and I absolutely love the fact that they now have these black nibs on them and I think they just look so fantastic with the carbon fibre black body of this. So that's the medium nib. Sorry it's out of shot a second, just put them side by side. And then the green has the extra fine nib on there. So I'll start with the medium. So we have the Caveco AC Sport Medium and this is Ruby Red ink and then in here and zoom out a little bit so you'll be able to see them both I have the Caveco AC Sport and this is an extra fine and this one is this is the Caveco standard blue cartridge you can see the difference in that line variation there between them. Wrong way. If I go zoom in a little bit for you to see, you'll see the difference in those. I think this medium nib is finer than most medium nibs that I've used. I've got fine nibs that are actually broader than this medium nib and that's probably why I like it um, more than I would if it was a, you know any broader than that. Um, in fact, if I do keep one, I will keep it with a medium nib, so I have that option because I do have an extra fine nib already. Black nib, which is sort of great from there. Right, let me get on to price point. Um, <laughs> there's no getting away from the fact that these are not cheap. Um, these now over here in the UK are retailing at £110. 
And they are steel nib pens, so I suppose there is a little element of, well, are they a little overpriced for a steel nib pen? When I reviewed the red, and you can still get the red, and if there you can find some of the champagne ones that are still left, um, then they retail are about 92. They were about 92 pounds at that point, and I think they still are around about that mark. But obviously this has gone up to the 110 pounds, which when you take it over the 100 pound mark and you're looking at a, a steel nib rather than a gold nib for that sort of price, because you could get something like a, you could probably get a Japanese pen for just over the £100 mark, you know, maybe a Pro Gear Slim for 116 which has a 14 karat gold nib in it. However, I've also paid far more for pens with steel nibs in it than this. What you get from this is fantastic build quality. I've never had an issue with a Caveco nib, with the Bock nibs that come on these. Never ever had an issue with them. In fact, they are among the favourite nibs, some of the favourite nibs, or certainly the favourite steel nibs that I've written with. And the build quality and the feel in your hand of these are is wonderful. I love the aluminium of them. I've got a full blue aluminium one, but I really do like the combination of the carbon fibre with the aluminium. So you're paying for the material that has been used here. The extra black nib that's gone into this rather than the traditional sort of st um, stainless steel nib. But they do feel wonderful in the hand and the colours of them are just something else. Would I pay £110 for it? Yes, if I had it I absolutely would and I really hope I can because um, I don't want to let them both go. So um, I do definitely want to keep one of these in my collection. Um, the rest of it is up to you. What I would say is that, you know, it may be worth you sort of feeling, when you feel it, when you have it in your hand, you see where the money goes and what you're paying for, because it feels like a substantial pen. It feels like an expensive pen. Um, and the quality is second to none. Not had an issue with them. But any questions, please do drop me a line. Please press the like, um, the thumbs up and give me a like and um, pass on the messages. Any requests, again, please leave a comment and I'll see you all again next time. Bye. Welcome back to the pen and inkwell. Um, as I mentioned in my last video, as I say, we are in the middle of exam season and I'm shooting a couple of videos over the sort of coming week. So you will get all of this in the background here where um, Fionn is very busy revising for her GCSE exams and um, is very much a visual learner. So has the, if you saw this bedroom right now, there are posters everywhere to remind her of little bits and bobs. So this is her bedroom that she kindly lets me film in if when I need to so um this is where it'll all stay so what I've got today I've been um I haven't looked at anything from this company for a little while they're wonderful to work with and um I've been out and visited them as I've sort of told you all about before but I'm talking about Caveco I say wonderful new products that they've sent over I have reviewed this pen before, so I'm not going to go into its finest detail because of the fact that you'll be able to see the other video on that. And I will give you the link of, uh, to that pen in the description box now, sort of below this video, so you can see the details of that. What this is about is actually showing you two new colours that they've brought out, and particularly the, you know, the difference with the nibs. Again, the video that I originally did when I was reviewing this pen I'd already put my own black nib on it and um, loved the way that that looked. And these now come with a black nib, which is fantastic. But uh, what I am going to show you this time is the difference between, I've got one, I've got two here. Actually, I should probably tell you what I'm talking about. People do leave comments that I ramble a little too much, but that's me. Um, I'm talking about the Caveco AC Sport. I've reviewed the red one before now, the red and black one, but what I have with me today are the two new colours that have come out the orange and the green. I think they're both fantastic colours. But what I've got in one of them is a medium nib and the other one I've got an extra fine nib. And you all know me, I prefer my extra fine nibs and that is always my preference. But I've been very pleasantly surprised with the medium nib that's in here. And I've been actually writing in, I've been journaling with it, which I never journal with a medium nib, but I have been. And yeah, I sort of quite liked that last night. So I'm going to show you the colours just so you get a sort of chance to see what these colours and how they look with the black nibs. A few sort of changes, sort of, you know, price point here in the UK, whether that's a result of the whole Brexit thing that's going on, the sort of how much the sort of pound has changed really over here, over the last, the value of the pound has changed recently. 
has made these pens a little dearer than they were when I first sort of looked at this AC Sport. But I also think that it's these two colours as well because of the sort of nib option that comes with these. So I'll show you those in detail, so join me just in two secs.